The video VBOX records data and video at the same time onto an SD card as two separate files, an AVI video file and a VBO data file, both of which are associated together when loaded into circuit tools. Once you have recorded some data, the first task is to copy this data onto your PC. To do this, first create a folder where you want to store the data and then insert the SD card into your computer. Copy all of the files from the media folder on the SD card into this new directory. All of the VBO data files and AVI video files will then reside in this directory. To analyse the data, these files are then loaded into the Circuit Tool software. In Circuit Tools, to load in new files, you can use the main button and select Load Files, or use the F3 key, which is a hotkey. All of the VBO data files will then be listed. It is likely there will be small files and some large files. Look for the larger files, which will be of a longer duration than the others, and contain the data from a number of laps. The shorter files may be from driving the car around the paddock, and you can ignore these. At this stage, you may want to name the file something more relevant. You can do this by selecting Rename in the File Selection screen. We will do this with the two sample files. Select one of the files, and then the software will load the VBO data file as well as the associated AVI video file. It will then detect which circuit you are at and automatically select a start finish line from the database. It will then list all of the laps from that session and select the fastest lap to display. You can change the order of the laps by clicking on the relevant column in the session data window. The fastest lap is highlighted in bold. The most common next step is to compare this lap with another lap to see whether gains or losses occurred. You can select a lap from the same session by clicking on the tick box next to that lap. Alternatively, you can select a lap from a different session or driver. To do this, press F3 or use the quick load button and select the file from the second driver. The sessions from the two drivers are displayed as two separate tabs in the session window. Once this second session has been loaded, the fastest lap of that session is selected and displayed alongside the original fastest lap. To look at a time difference between the two laps, turn on the Delta T channel in the session data window. To make sure that they are lined up in the best possible way, select Position Alignment from the Graph tab. This will use GPS position to line up the laps, which is the most accurate way of keeping the files synchronised around the whole lap. If you click on the graph, the videos will both synchronise to this point. You can play the videos at any time by using the play button at the top of the window. You can zoom in on the data by drawing a rubber band around the area of interest. Note that the Delta T channel resets to zero at the start of this new selection to make analysis easier. Once you are zoomed in, you can pan around by using the right hand mouse button to click and drag the graph. To zoom out, you can draw a rubber band from right to left, or use the zoom full button. You can swap between screen layouts with the hotkeys. For instance, F5 shows the video as full screen, F9 shows the graph full screen, and F11 shows the circuit map full screen using the circuit overlay that was automatically loaded from the database. You can resize the screens by dragging the sliders, and you can return to the default layouts by double clicking the relevant layout key. To make more room, you can toggle the menu bar using the quick access button or by using the R key. And that's the end of the quick start guide.